How you doing? What's going on, V-Nation? I hope you guys are all doing fabulous. Today it is Q&A, or more of just A, answering your questions. And thank you guys for all your questions, really great questions, I always like hearing from you. And we can do more of these if you like them. But uh, I wanted to, I've been going hard, you guys, with the lemons and the grapes. I did slow it down yesterday with some steamed vegetables because that's just what my body was telling me. So just um, always kind of tune into your body. It will, it will guide you. It'll tell you what, what you should be doing, what you need to do next. But these grapes, they're from South Africa. And you guys, it's been a while since I've seen round grapes. Look at that, they're beautiful, so gorgeous. So I'm going to get into those today. And I want to get through this Q&A because there's lots of questions, lots of things to go through. And I want to guys, wish you guys a happy new year. First of all, 2018. For those of you more spiritual people, you'll notice that the two plus one plus eight is 11. So I think this year is gonna be, I don't know, I just feel like this year is gonna be very high energy and there's gonna be a lot of, a lot more connection, a lot more, a lot more information coming out, waking people up and that's pretty exciting. So. Yeah, hope you guys had a hope you guys have a great new year. Let me know what your new year's plan is down below in the comment section. I'd love to hear what your plan is. Um, in February, I'm going to do a whole month of uh, juice cleanse and fruit cleanse. And if you want, you can join me. Let me know if you want me to document it all day by day. I can definitely do that, and you guys can definitely join on for the ride. Okay, so onto your questions. So I'm going to start with the health questions first because uh, those are the, um, that's what I mainly focus on on my channel. And then we'll go to the more of the personal questions about myself. So we'll just start at the top here. I'm just going to go to the most, the newest. Uh, okay, so Marcy Eats asks, what do you think about eating bread? So I don't norm, I don't, really eat bread, but if you are going to eat bread, I would suggest um, going for the sprouted bread and make sure you read the ingredients, as minimal ingredients as possible, and you can get sprouted bread from your uh, local health food store. And she also, or Marcy M. Smith, she, do you think aliens exist? Uh, yes. Yeah, I do think aliens exist, and I know Maybe this is too much for this channel or too much for people, but yeah, I think there's a lot of beings out there and I think there's a lot going on on this, not only on this planet, but other planets out there. And I can do, I'll do a video separately on aliens because I have a story to tell about that. Very interesting. Um, Sarah Shea, hi Sarah Shea. She asks, hey there Miss B, I'm starting a mostly raw journey as of today. Have done lots of research with Dr. Morse, and I'm excited to start. Good. What's the one tip you have for newbie raw vegans? Thanks and much love. Much love to you guys. Much love to you, Sarah Shea. So I would say uh, the tip for newbie raw vegans is don't be too hard on yourself. You know, um, this is being raw is one thing at home, but when you go into society, you know, with uh, friends or family, it may be challenging. So don't be too hard on yourself. That would be my <laughs> number one tip and that's a tip for myself as well. Just because I, you know, the, um, a week ago I met up with some friends and we went to uh, Ethiopian restaurant and I got into the cooked food, the Ethiopian food, so good, so good. The lentils and the injera bread, so good. But after, I could smell myself and I didn't like that. So, you know, just to go back to the raw. So if you get off course a little bit, don't worry, you can get back on it. And so that's my tip is if one meal you have, say steamed vegetables or you get taken off course, that's okay. You just start up again, no big deal. So that would be my tip. Thank you for your question. Okay, we have Saudi VC 
phase mellow. Happy New Year, Happy New Year to you. Did you do a 40 day grape fast? And did you get well? Do you feel well now? Are you healed? So I did not do a 40 day grape fast. I did a week of grapes and yeah, I, it was like this. It was up and down, it felt horrible, massive lymphatic pressure. And it's very tough, especially if you are toxic like me, these going to the fruit can be very astringent, it has lots of pull of the acids. So you, if it's too much of a pull, you may want to step down to the vegetables. I don't, you know, <laughs> there's nothing wrong with the vegetables, but the, the uh, fruit is where it's at if you want to get a lot of pull. And you obviously want to get your eliminative organs, you know, your, your filtration system working so it's not too hard on your skin. And that's a big thing with me. Um, so I'm not fully healed. I'm not. I'm still working on my skin, but the ovarian cysts, psh, that mucus is gone. Those cysts are gone. So that is awesome. But my skin, it's, uh, it's years of lymphatic acidic waste on the body. So I'm going to have to work through that and it's just a it's just a journey so that will be um yeah i'll just be i'll keep doing that and i'll do that more in the new year so especially february um, i'll be starting the really good juice cleanse fruit cleanse and yeah we'll go from there so thank you so much for your question um smiley fish sauce <laughs> i love the that's a funny name uh asks have you done ear candles I haven't done ear candles. I I would have to test it out because from what I've seen, the ear candles will still, the candle will still take in wax out of the ear. So you'll still find wax in the candle outside the ear. And that's just from what I've, I've seen from other people. So I haven't done the ear candles. I would like to do a test with you guys to see if the candle in the ear versus just a candle outside the body and, and which has more wax. So that would be a good test, a good practice to do. And uh, if, if you're wanting, what I've noticed it what helps is to get the sinuses cleared is horseradish, horseradish root. So if you just do some a little bit of horseradish, that, that'll start opening up the sinus area. So yeah, that's well, maybe another video we'll do that your candles. Okay, um, Kara uh, Luz, I'm just, you know, terrible with reading names, guys. Ask, can you talk more about your emotional healing crisis? Yes, I'll do more videos about that. Um, the emotional healing crisis, I found it's important to release those emotions. All, all those years of suppressing um, any, you know, it's, it's just not good to suppress. It's good to let it out right away and you know just show that you're human there's nothing wrong with that for me i for the year so many years i just suppressed and suppressed and just bottled it in and then once i started detoxing it was just pouring out so it's good to let it out and i'll do more videos about that for sure what did the process of becoming your own best friend look like good question well it first of all starts with um, uh, first of all starts with the food that you're giving your body right if you have your best friend come over or your friends or family that you love it's like what type of foods would you be feeding them and that's that's for me really important because I want to be feeding my friends and family the highest nutritional food I don't want to be feeding you know just consciously I know that certain types of foods aren't are toxic to the body so it's first of all starting with giving yourself lots of fresh fruits and vegetables healthy food because you deserve it you deserve to be healthy happy and it's also you know talking good to yourself and looking at what it is about you that you love and that's so hard to do so i recommend finding say five things that you love about yourself today write them down focus on that how, however you would treat your best friend is how you should treat yourself. And that is getting out of that negative talk, which can be so hard. Sometimes what helps is to tune out everything and just take yourself in for a walk out in nature. 
and listen to yourself, listen to what makes you happy and do more of that and, sh and start um, bringing in more positive self-talk and, and positive healthy foods. So that would be a good start. How do you practice living life with love instead of fear? Wow, Kara, you got good questions here. So practicing life living with love instead of fear. So I always say let love guide you, not fear. It's always your focus, your attention. So whatever you focus on will grow. So if you keep focusing on, I don't know, uh, you know, last year I was, I was focusing on all the negative things in the world, like the news, Trump and whatnot. And it was just, it just kept growing. So if you find that there's, you know, um, you there's a lot of negative stuff that is out there coming your way, just change your focus. Focus on the positive aspects of your life and the positive aspects of this world. Sometimes you need to go for a walk in nature and find the beauty again and find the beauty within yourself. And that is coming out of the mind. And that, how do you come out of the mind? You just stop thinking. You just stop all your thoughts and you become present. So how do you become present? You focus on the birds. You focus on the smells of nature. I'm focusing on the smell of this tree behind me, which is so nice. Uh, and you can just stop thinking and become consciously aware. And that's where you're going to find your strength because you have control of your mind. These thoughts are always, can always come in from every direction. And it really, if you're tuning into a lot of negative news out there or negative people, that can easily steal your attention. So there's lots of distractions out there, if you guys haven't noticed. And that's with food, people, friends, family, media, huge people on YouTube. So you can just change your focus, change your attention to the positive people that are going to uplift you and that are going to, you know, be healthy for healthy for you in your life. So that has helped me and it's really about getting out of the mind and becoming the becoming present and stopping your thoughts, knowing that you are the one in control. Nobody else. You have the power and you always have had the power. So if you find that the, the fear and the negativity is creeping up, change your focus and always know that whatever you focus on will grow. So keep focusing on the positives about yourself, about your life and keep positive people around you. And if there is nobody that is positive in your life, then you'll find positive people on YouTube or you'll, you know, Sometimes it's good to be alone too and go for a walk in nature and just be with yourself and you'll find that you're not actually alone. <laughs> That's um, the illusion out there. So I hope that helps you out, but it's really about changing your focus, changing your attention because there's always going to be negative people. There's always going to be trolls. There's always, and th those people love when you give them attention. That's exactly what they want. So you just don't do it. I've had some people on my channel leave negative comments and I just, I just delete them because it, they're not welcome on my channel. If you're going to leave a negative comment that has, it's not constructive and has no, it doesn't help anybody, then you're just not welcome on my channel. So I like to, and not to say that, you know, you can always leave questions and you don't always have to agree with everything I say. I don't always agree with everything anybody says, but you know, that's how we learn from one another. And I think that noise is my cat climbing up a, her uh, cat house right now. <laughs> but yeah, if you um, find yourself, you know, interacting with these negative people, then then just distance yourself from them and change your focus. Start, start spending your time with those that love you. And um, like I said on my channel, I like those that challenge me or you know give me different, their opinion, that's great. But negativity and bashing one another, no, you're off my channel. <laughs> 
Okay, so unhealthy, hope that helps you out. Thank you for your question. Unhealthy individual, what was the process of clearing up your tongue like? Did it happen over night or a bit by, or bit by bit over a long period of time? Yeah, it didn't happen overnight. So this can, it was several weeks before I started noticing it changing, but that's by going high raw. I'm plant-based for six months. Good for you, unhealthy individual. That's awesome. A lot of mucus coming out, but tongue still white without any sign of change. Okay, so I would say, um, I don't know what you're eating on a plant base, but that's great that you're plant-based. I would say get in more of the grapes and the berries. So berries, I get in every day. They are one of my top fruits, especially this winter, because you know you can freeze the berries and they're good to go all throughout the year and they don't go bad too super fast. So I would say try to get in the berries and the more stringent fruits if you can handle it. And that's where you're gonna see a lot more pull. You may see the tongue going white, further white before it gets better, but I would say start bringing in the astringent fruits, the grapes, the berries and your melons, grapes, berries, melons. And uh, if you can take out, I'm not sure if you're eating any like gluten or bread or yeast, anything like that, I would try to take, cut down on that. So I hope that helps you out. But yeah, it did, for me, it, it wasn't something that happens overnight. It took some time to work on. So it's, uh, it's a journey. <laughs> Existential vegan, sorry, I'm just terrible. Uh, okay, so guess in where I'm living. Yeah, I'm in Canada and I I don't see you guys I work My work um, It's can be very difficult to talk about certain things with my job because I There are doctors that work in my building so and we often get doctors' opinions what, in what I do. I work with um, people, my job right now is working with people injured from a car accidents. So <laughs> it's quite interesting what I do, but I can't say, to, you know, on this channel, I could get myself, I have to be careful with what I say. So I, um, yeah, I try to tread lightly and I try to get my message out there without getting into trouble. Hope you know what I mean by that. Mark Ibinson asked uh, some personal questions. Is Elka short for something or a nickname? Or is Elka be a fake name? If so, what is your name? <laughs> my name is Crystal. That is my name, Crystal. I was born with the name Crystal. And my mom's name's Rose, so my middle name's Chris Rose, so Crystal Rose, that's my name. I chose Elka because it comes from alkaline, which I find is strong, powerful, and astringent. <laughs> so I like the name Elka uh, because it is like, I feel it's strong and it's like, it's needed in this acidic place, this acidic planet. There's so many acidic people, animals, even nature is becoming, the water is becoming acidic. So I feel like we need to bring in more alkaline foods. And I was gonna call myself alkaline girl, but I'm not sure about that yet. And B, I got B from finding your nectar, finding your sucre. And I like the bees because they can take their nectar without damaging nature and they help to pollinate, they help to spread the goodness and so that's why i chose b as well as b rising they're always talking about the bees declining I'm like no no the bees we be rising we all be rising together so i like that i was going to change my name to be rising as well because i feel like this planet needs more uplifting and so that's why i really like b it can stand for so many things be yourself be healthy be rising be powerful but most like the most important thing is being yourself because in this world we're taught that you have you should be like this person or be like that person no you got to do this no you got to do that no you just got to be yourself find what it is about you that's unique and do that 
And that's what people want anyways. They don't want another uh, replicate, another duplicate of somebody else. So yeah, just be yourself. And that's, I just love the bees. I mean, the bees, they can sting, but they're, they can be sweet too. So you got that. <laughs> you, they can sting when they want to. And sometimes that is needed. So I like the bees. I should check on my camera and make sure we're still filming here. But yes, I am seeing someone and I'm, I don't know if I'm going to bring, he was in my vlog in, um, with Mimi Kirk. The video I did with Mimi Kirk, he's in there a little bit, but I don't know if I'm gonna bring him too much on this channel because I wanna focus on health and helping you guys and um, with with um, my boyfriend, like, I, I know some people out there are, how do I say this? It's, they're cautious of getting close to people because you don't know what role they're playing in, the, in, this, in this game, in this matrix. So I'm very cautious of who I bring into my life. And I wouldn't bring someone in if they weren't on the same page as me. Let's put it that way. So yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't go out with someone if they weren't on the same you know, page as me. I do like talking about more spiritual, like way out there kind of stuff that most people I think would run and they would think it's just too much. Even like the alien talk, some people would look at that and just freak out. But I like talking about all sorts of things and especially some of the stuff that has happened to me. I definitely know there's a lot more going on in this planet and I like to talk about that, but it can scare people away. So whatever, I am who I am out here on YouTube. So what do you do for work? You guys know working with people injured. Do you drive fast? Long as you have fasted. So the longest I have fasted, believe it or not, was two years ago. It wasn't even this grape detox. It was two years ago. I got pneumonia really, really bad, you guys. And I was off work for a week. I didn't really eat much. I was doing, I think maybe some teas, some light fruit at that time too, just because I didn't, and I didn't even know about fruit at that time, but I was just eating light food, which is the fruit, because I couldn't handle any heavy food. And I got pneumonia super bad that I got uh, prescription pills and I didn't take it. I didn't take it and the fourth day it got so bad. I was eliminating so much. My chest hurt so much from coughing that the fourth day I said, okay, if I'm not better tomorrow, I'm taking the, I'm taking the medication, I'm taking the antibiotics. I think it was antibiotics, maybe another medication too. I don't know. And it was so bad. I was hacking like crazy, just getting all this and mucus out. The next day I woke up and I was perfectly healthy. I didn't have to take the medication. So I, that was amazing because I think if I took that medication, it would have locked all that mucus in more and it wouldn't have been good. And I, I just, that was the longest I have actually, I think I fasted and it was just like animals in nature. You'll see these animals that are sick, they'll go off and they won't eat for a few days um, just until they get better. So I'm, I do like dry fasting. I do like fasting in general with you know, fruit and water fast, as long as it's supervised. But yeah, I was really sick then and fasting came in. Fasting just happened to, I just listened to my body at that time and that's what it ended up going through without even knowing about detoxification. That's kind of crazy. Master fast system, yeah, awesome. Never tried it, but would love to. Plans for 2018 to be more open with you guys about aliens, spirituality, all that good stuff life goals this is my goal to get everybody to come out help everybody become more aware more conscious healthy happy all that good stuff be rising favorite youtube i like dr morse love tuning into lots of different raw foodist people out there don't even have to be raw food i just like learning i just like hearing about different philosophies all sorts of people out there have lots of good information what do you do for fun? Snowboarding. I love 
going for hikes in nature, anything in nature I love. Anything to do in nature, I'm there. All the lakes in Ontario and Canada are beautiful. I love just lying in the lake. It's just so serenity. I just feel so whole, connected to mother nature. It's awesome. When's your birthday? October 2nd, same as Gandhi. We're Li Libras. And uh, some people say I talk too much. This is why this video is going on for so long. And it's like, yeah, that's who I am. I just tend to talk and talk and go off on this subject, go off there. Just, I mean, that's just how, that's just who I am. My best friend's a Gemini and us together, oh my gosh. We would never, we could never, I don't think we could do YouTube together because <laughs> we would be talking for hours and hours. And that's just, um, it's just what happens with me and my best friend. We can have these good debates and we're still, you know, still best friends. How tall are you? I believe I'm about 5'10". I haven't checked in a while. I don't know how much I weigh either. I don't have a scale. I don't really, I don't weigh myself or anything like that. Have you ever had an eating disorder? No, I have never had an eating disorder. Some people may say I have an eating disorder by eating this way, but they're just unconscious. Cats or dogs, both. Do you practice no shave, laser everything off? <laughs> I, for a while there, I wasn't shaving my legs because I'm like, who cares about society and their definition of beautiful? I don't care about that. And uh, I didn't shave my legs for a while. And then I just, decided to shave because I just like the feeling of it being smooth. So it's just a matter of preference, but you don't have to shave. You don't have to do anything society tells you to do. You can do whatever you want. Um, no judgment at all. No judgment from, from me at all. Um, vegan for animals or your health started off for my health. Then I see that there's a lot of um, cruelty to the animals and animal testing and all sorts of things. Even they do testing on humans. Um, so yeah, I, for it all, for the planet, for the animals, mother nature, mentors, Dr. Morris, there is a second mentor who came in last November as well. Really powerful mentor. And I'll do a separate video on this mentor. So I have two, two mentors. Do you have any brothers? I have one brother who is two years older than me. We have so much fun together. He's a musician. He's in a band, the Scorpio and my family. They have a, a meat market and uh, it's, you can see how interesting this can be. And so what's your relationship with your family like? I'm close with my family. I'm trying to my best to, my, even just trying to get them to eat vegetables at this time is difficult, especially uh, my mom. I'm trying to help her out. She's had so many health issues and you can see with the health issues that I have, we have the same. So, um, but her now, she has uh, arthritis and she's, I don't know if she would want me to tell you all this, but I'm sure she wouldn't mind if it's to help people. So with arthritis, she's been diagnosed with arthritis and she eats, she was consuming a lot of dairy, taking a lot of calcium supplements. Okay. So this is where I'm trying to get her to get into the grapes, the berries, and she start hydrating the body, but it is. You can only lead a horse to water, right? You can't make it drink. So it's, I'm trying, you can't get too wrapped up in trying to save people because it'll take you down. It's like your adrenal glands down, your lymphatic system down. So you want to just kind of throw seeds out there and then back away. You don't want to kind of wherever, again, wherever your attention is, that's what you're going to focus on. It's just going to keep growing and you'll get sucked into that. So you really have to pay attention and have compassion, but distance. So it's um, really important to do that for your own health, you guys. So yeah, I'm close with my family, but they have a meat market and they're very much into the meat. And I see how it is affecting a lot of people. And not only that, the animals, but I'm just doing the best I can. And I, yeah, I, I still, just because I'm not eating the same, as them, I still try to connect with them in other areas. And so music with my brother, that's one. We just love music. We love goofing around. We love, you know, it's, we love having discussions. We can get into debates, do, and it's quite funny. Um, so have you traveled much? Yes, I've traveled to 
I love traveling, I love traveling. I feel like that's how you can really learn about cultures, what's going on in the planet. With my job, as you guys know, I took a, a major pay cut. With my job, I was making a lot of money and I was traveling to Hawaii. I've done road trips to California. I have gone across Canada, gone to Vegas, did lots of partying in my days. I love more of the mountains, ferny. I'd love to go to New Zealand. That's where I would really love to go. And um, where else? I'd love to go to Whistler as well. I'd love to do the zip line through the mountains. I don't even like heights because I had such a terrifying experience on a hot air balloon where it uh, almost didn't land and we almost hit power lines and buildings and I just don't like heights. But <laughs> it's just getting past that fear and just it's what I want to do. Um, but yeah, I have traveled to Cuba, Mexico, you know, all those places and I love traveling, but it can be quite pricey. I'd love to go visit Dr. Morris in Florida. I'd love to go to visit Dr. Morris. So I'm going to try to get my book out there. I'm going to try to um, help you guys as much as possible in, you know, delivering and what I can give to you guys. And if maybe I can go see Dr. Morris, that would be a, another dream for me to go see him in Florida. I've been to Florida too, but when I was very, very young. So I paid for everything I have. I've worked my butt off and I've paid for to go on all the trips. No one has, you know, I don't have like a sugar daddy. Um, I've paid for it all on my own and uh, I've paid for even university and learning chemistry. I wanted to be a dental, well, I didn't want to be a dental hygienist, but I was just following money at that time. So I took chemistry, I took physics, all those university courses. I took a religion course, so I know all about the different types of religions, Buddhism. Um, you, I could do a whole video on religion. And I, I just took a religion course to, you know, I'm not religious, but I just thought I would learn all about the different types, the different religions out there. And how they, how they, um, the birth of these religions it's so it's i could talk for <laughs> i could talk for hours you guys so all these questions are so good how any health conditions you still need to resolve my skin kidneys adrenals are you living in an apartment or house house i own it um i own my car i use i bike everywhere though biking is oh my gosh this video is going on way too long i'm sorry you guys have you ridden a motorcycle I uh, dirt bike, yes, awesome, so fun. I love traveling, you guys. I love just being free and exploring, and I have, I just have so much, um, I just love adventure. And um, I, you know what, but after all this traveling, I found that you really, you don't need to do all these things. As long as you're happy from within, like sure, that's fun. But as long as you have yourself and you're happy within and you're doing what you love, you don't really need to have all these things, all these cars, all these clothes, all, you know, sure it's, it's great, but you, once, once you are, you have your sucre, you have your nectar, you don't need to have all this stuff. And I like to spend my money on helping you guys, putting my time and money towards you guys and better equipment I love and just experiences. So there's so many different things we can talk about. I've, yeah, I had my cards read as well. And uh, what's interesting is I pulled, having my cards read, I pulled the three, I think it was a three of cups and I have two really close girlfriends and she was like, yeah, this is you and your friends. And if you look closely on that card, there's fruit on the table. So that was really cool for me. I'm not really much into getting, you know, it's kind of fun to have your cards read and all that stuff. But once you have a connection, you can, you see, you can figure things out on yourself. And you, you guys will know what I'm talking about, About some of you will know what I'm talking about. But yeah, I would love to do more, um, I'd love to go see Dr. Morse, you guys. I'd love to see him in Florida if I can save up some money to do that. That would also be um, what I would like to do. So 
I think that will wrap it up because we've gone on quite long, but thank you guys so much for all your questions. If you want to do this again, I might have to do short, shorter videos, but uh, leave your questions, any questions, comments, anything else you'd like to know down below and we can do some videos on it. We can talk more about aliens. We can talk about spirituality, um, getting out of your mind, becoming conscious, aware, and expanding your consciousness. We can do a lot more videos on that if you guys wish. And if you guys are open for it, ready for it, let me know. And as always, thank you so much. I wish you all the best in 2018. Lots of health and happiness coming your way. And yeah, I think this year is gonna be very powerful. And I think a lot more people are gonna be waking up. So it's gonna be very exciting. So thank you guys. Stay tuned for more videos. I'm gonna talk a lot, about, a lot more different things. And as always, be alkaline, be it yourself, and be getting in some fruit today. Cheers. <laughs>